Yeah, Rick and Jen, right now these buses out here on the compound, they're empty, but next school year, they're going to be full of students. The question though is, are there going to be enough drivers to get these students to and from magnet and traditional schools? That's the question that JCPS is trying to answer with their latest recruitment efforts. When I first heard about the, the, them dropping the magnet schools, I thought maybe I can come back and drive a little bit and help. Former JCPS bus driver DeAndrea Cole is hoping to get back behind the wheel to fight the ongoing bus driver shortage. I believe that I can make an impact. While people like her are stepping up, the district says it's still not going to be enough to restore bus routes for the first day of school in August. No routes will be added back before the first day of school, so parents need to understand that. JCPS right spokesperson now, Carolyn Callahan says it'll be at least the third week of school before bus service for magnet and traditional schools could be restored. That's because the 70 TARC drivers joining the fleet still need to be trained. They will train for the first couple of weeks of school on our buses with us so that they actually see what it's like to be on a school bus with students on the bus. Uh, and then we'll be able to move forward, hopefully, in adding some more routes back. Parents will be expected to take their kids to and from magnet and traditional schools during the training period. JCPS surveyed families to see if they plan to transfer because of the transportation cuts. They found 94% plan to stay at their current school. We'll get you started and finished today, okay? The district hosted its final bus driver blitz on Wednesday in an effort to recruit more bus drivers. They can get their application completed. They can get their paperwork done. They can get their background checks scheduled for that. And then they can also have an interviews and do the physicals as well. A one-stop shop to put people on the path to becoming bus drivers. Somebody has to do it. Somebody has to do it. And get bus routes back up and running for all students. Maybe if I'm willing to do it and someone sees that, hey, D did it, maybe they'll come back and do it too. The district's ability to get the buses back to transporting magnet and traditional school students also depends on how many of these bus drivers decide to retire. And we should find out that number by the end of next month. Reporting live at the Dietrich Bus Compound, Madeline Carter, WLKY News.